Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Pearls of Wisdom with Nirmal Bang. I'm Avan Dabash. Well, media has been a buzz off late, and who'd have thought that good old traditional newspapers really are circulating hard and fast? Today, we put the spotlight on the Dainik Bhaskar Group or listed company DB Corp, which is one of the number one circulated newspaper groups in the country. They also have a digital presence and uh, are present across 12 states with printing 61 editions and 220 sub editions. So we want to understand what the impact is when it comes to circulation growth, their revenues, as well as what the outlook is in light of elections. Mr. Girish Agarwal, he's the promoter director, the Enik Bhaskar newspaper group and now joins us. Thank you for taking time out and uh, okay. let's just understand what the outlook is on you know the the print um, and newspaper business as a whole i just want to get in a view from the sector at a time when you know our mobile phone is like our 11th finger we're hooked on as well to ott platforms is print still thriving very much as you rightly mentioned that digital and mobile is the 11th finger so we are as a print using the 10th finger of yours to make sure that you hold the newspaper and read it well so let me give you the economics of the newspaper because that's more important for to understand. So what happened uh, in a newspaper business, almost 55% of my cost is the newsprint. Okay. And balance are the other cost. Okay. Now what happened last year, uh, 2022 actually, the newsprint prices went up to almost 65,000 rupees per ton. Now, because of that, it became pretty unviable for most of the publishers to undertake any kind of activities to push the circulation. Because it was not viable. As you understand, in a newspaper, what you pay for a newspaper, 5 rupees, 7 rupees, it is highly subsidized because the cost of the newspaper on me may be much more than that. So, currently, the newspaper cost, the newsprint cost from 65,000 rupees per ton has come down to almost 49,000 rupees a ton and is further going to go down. So when the prices are going down, it becomes much more viable for all of us to start pushing the circulation. That's number one. Number two, coming to the advertising. Now, in after the COVID, a lot of people had assumptions that, okay, advertising will shift to digital. It did shift. I'm not saying it not. It did shift. Otherwise, you would have been growing at 20% plus, but that didn't happen. But for two years, we struggled. But after that, I think the whole credibility aspect of the newspaper brought the reader or made the reader stay with us and brought the advertiser back to us. So I think that is what has happened and we are seeing it in most of the categories like automobile, real estate, you name the category and those who are investing their money in print to get the right eyeballs. Okay, so you've really painted a picture as to what the outlook is for the print uh, media industry as a whole. And given that you spoke about, you know, the circulation dynamics and ad revenue, I want to talk about your print ad revenue growth, because that on a year on year basis, basis, the kind of numbers that you've reported has been very strong. And that has led to your revenues on the whole growing quite well. Will this trajectory continue? So see, last year, as you know, we have grown by almost 18%. Now, out of the redeem person, election played a big role from two aspects. One is the direct advertising by the government talking about their achievements and also the election advertising parties asking the readers to vote for them. Third, which also happened is that because of the election year, the political parties gave a lot of freebies to the common man. And that freebie was used, increased the disposable income of a common man. And he went out and did a shopping of house and cars and luxury items, whatever you name it. So because of that, the advertising of that sector also went up. Now, if I remove all that out and come back to a normal year, I think in that case, we should be able to grow on a single digit, strong single digit. Okay. And, uh, you know, you did speak about uh, the government election spending as well. How is that played when it comes to your overall raw material cost? Because there have been newsprint prices which have been falling. Your, your margins as a result of that really improved. Um, and what is it that you're looking at when it comes to ad revenue growth from election spending and government spending? So I think election spending is already over now. Now what we are looking for is that when the, whenever the election results are uh, announced on 4th of June and the government swells in again and whatever situation, I think every possible government is looking for a huge opportunity ahead for India. So in that case, I think the GDP is, is uh, what all we have from people is going to grow furthermore. And if that happens, then obviously every sector is going to grow. 
and if automobile education real estate grows my driving further grows up and how are you looking at um, you know your overall hindi print business it's got a non metro presence that is actually outperforming industry growth of course you did have the general elections that benefited it um, but how are you looking at um, the, the overall hindi print business scaling up what is the game plan in order to improve your strategy so see in india the biggest circulation strength of any newspaper is in hindi only because english let me give you the perspective uh, numbers uh, as per audit bureau of circulation dainik bhaskar hindi brand circulation say is at say 32 lakh copies or whatever number i don't remember the exact number the english which is the times of india group would be almost half of my number you know so that clearly indicate the circulation wise hindis are almost double than of english and revenue wise they are still higher than us because they operate from delhi bombay delhi bangalore Kolkata, Chennai. But if you take that away, I think Hindi are the one those who are growing much, much faster. And uh, uh, even in circulation, you know, the all possible languages Hindi, Gujarati, Telugu, Tamil, Marathi, Kannada, Malayalam. Everybody did hold the circulation pretty well post COVID. But I think the metro newspapers lost a lot. Wow, that's really impressive to talk a little, uh, a little bit about you know the comparison and how. the hindi print business really performs and the kind of massive market at hand and you know speaking of that as well your circulation revenue i think that's about 19% of the total revenue that as well um, has been higher how do you plan to grow that further given the kind of scale that you've been talking about so this year our focus will be on circulation growth as i told you the newsprint prize is not on our side and we would certainly put every possible resource to get more circulation that's the objective and i'm told every possible newspaper organization would do work towards that so what's so, the outlook then if you could spell it out in terms of what you're expecting when it comes to newsprint prices because they peaked in q2 fy23 they began falling then uh, in q4 fy24 uh, what is your outlook it will it now remain stable see in this quarter we are at 49000 rupees per ton and i'm hoping that in the quarter 1 uh, it'll go down by another 3 4% quarter 2 I really don't know because it's a commodity business. So Q2, Q3, we'll have to see how the market pans out. Now let's talk about your radio business as well. Uh, the advertising revenue here has grown 30 percent plus. Um, how do you, uh, you know, look at your overall radio business as part of the total pie? Um, how are you seeing it performing down the line? See, radio can do much, much better, but for government because they've been sitting on the licenses for the new round which has to come out. and their expectation from the license fee is very impractical you know they they actually kill the whole business so if government become more pragmatic and they get brings out more license this industry can thrive also the news on radio is on hold you know since last many years there's no you know so government need to look at it how to rejuvenate this radio industry i'm i'm just wondering out asking out of curiosity what about things like you know podcasts etc that have become so popular i know you said that radio can do much better but is this eating into market share is this a worry or not not at all whatsoever so it's indeed i won't say a worry but sort of be a matter of concern because in podcast in all there there's no government regulation anybody can start a podcast on news he can start a podcast on a cinema or entertainment anything but for radio if i have to do anything i have to go and get the permission from government i have to wait for the license So it is not a level playing field. Government need to make it make it open for everybody in that case. Um, what about your digital business? I know it's microscopic in terms of what the overall contribution at least is. You touched upon it very, uh, very slightly, but uh, the app is doing very well in Hindi, in Gujarati news. What is your outlook on the monthly active users, and how do you see it growing? So first of all, I would like to urge all your viewers, those who are watching this, please download the Nick Bhaskar News app, either in Hindi or Gujarati, whatever your language. It will help you in two ways. First of all, you will come to know what is happening on the ground, because when you live in Bombay, Delhi, and Bangalore, you hardly come to know what is the real Bharat doing. So maybe this app will help you, and also this will help you improve your Hindi or Gujarati also. Uh, coming to I need that. I need that. Yeah, please do. <laughs> and coming to the coming to the numbers uh, we have got some 15 million uh, users now with us in hindi and gujarati put together uh, they've been able to maintain in fact grow uh, also some numbers you will see that result in the next quarter 
uh, the numbers are growing. Most importantly, that every other possible news app has gone down. You know, while we have maintained and increased the number, that clearly indicates that uh, we are able to you know involve our readers in a big way. And I must say, my three and a half thousand strong journalist team are doing a fantastic job. Because see, newspaper or app is all about content. People don't come to see my app or a newspaper to read ad. They come to see the content, the news, and that's where the journalists come and play a big role. So I think that's happening, and I'm really, really proud about it. And uh, numbers are doing good. We are doing a lot of experiment, and at some point we'll start some monetization experiments also, and we'll let you know that point of time. Oh yes, uh, indeed. Uh, look forward to that as well. And content is king, as you said. Um, and just curious to understand that um, you know, with rising input costs, do you pass on the increase to customers? How does that impact your overall margins? Our margins right now are almost twenty-eight percent, and the print thirty-one percent. And I think there's no point of passing on any increase to my consumers because advertising should take care of that. So I'm very clear: no consumer is going to get burdened with any cost. And since the newsprint prices have come down, we should start uh, looking at more circulation. You know, look at the company and the kind of trajectory that it's seen, Mr. Agarwal. The way it's grown, commanding. You know, a market cap of five thousand two hundred crores almost. Um, what's the vision for DB Corp down the line? What is the message that you want to send out to investors as to how you see the company for the grow, or maybe the vision that you have over the next five years? See, our vision has been very clear that we are wanting to be uh, the largest by far, and that too with the social recognition uh, responsibility towards the entire Indian language market. So right now we are Hindi, Gujarati, and Marathi. We want to focus on that and uh, involve our customer, involve our reader, involve our investors to make sure that we deliver to all of them. And that's the reason why company is not taking any decision on haste. We are sitting at a cash balance of almost thousand crore. Uh, company gave the huge chunk of dividend this year. We offered almost thirteen rupees as a dividend this year, paying out to three two thirty three crores of cash for the dividend. And next year also, our, I'm sure our board will decide accordingly. So we are not uh, in hurry to do anything uh, to utilize the cash, uh, unless until it is very prudent and required for the growth of the company. Okay. And finally, you're at the helm of a very successful business within a highly competitive industry, the media industry. Um, what has been some of your key learnings or pearls of advice that you would like to impart to viewers? Um, some of the key, uh, you know, for, for maybe who those who want to enter the media industry. Um, what would be your pearls of advice or any learnings? See, very simply put, uh, my father used to say that if you have to go to heaven, you have to die yourself. So, if you want to make your business successful, uh, you got to really be into it. You got to do it things yourself. You can't say no. I, I, you know, you should have team delegation. You should have systems and processes, uh, but you can't detach yourself from that. Otherwise, the whole vision, the whole driving force goes away. So keep your head down, stay focused, stay uh, uh, under the radar, and make sure you keep doing good work. Yep, keep hustling at it and keep doing the good work like you are, Mr. Agarwal. Appreciate you taking the time out and giving us an indication as to where DB Corp is headed and the future for the company. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to never miss an update from Nirmal Bang.